Hello friends, welcome back. Guys, in this video I'll talk about Java File Watcher service, which is one of the very important but lesser known feature of Java. So in this video I will talk about File Watcher service, which we do have in Java. Basically, it's a built-in service provided by Java itself, right? And then I'll give you a demo as well that how can we go and make use of File Watcher service. All right, guys. So what exactly a File Watcher service? It is a Java service to watch for files in a directory. Guys, let me give you a real-time scenario. For example, guys, we have a directory that we want to monitor for the incoming files, right? And I put some files here. PDF file is there, text file is there, PNG file is there, right? So basically, we have a service or a third-party service. It doesn't matter. It is out of the scope. We have a service that is going to place some files into our directory. And we want to monitor this particular directory in real time, right? So basically, we need to have a service that can go and read this particular directory or say, keep on continuously reading this directory for the incoming files. Not only for the new files, just in case, for example, I have the same file, ishan.txt, and if I modify this file and then I replace this file in the directory, I want to read that modification as well. Okay, all right, guys, it's time for a demo. Let me start the IDE. All right, what I will do, I already have a project here. Uh, try it out inside this project. Okay, so I, there's already a package. I'm going to create a class. Let's call it Java File Watcher. Okay, so I want to have a main mention these steps so first of all we need to have a directory that we want to monitor for files okay second thing is i want to have a file watcher service that will do the magic for us next important thing is it's called events so what exactly events for example there is a new file coming to the directory it's called a create event if there is a modification to the existing file it's called a modify event and if you delete a file from the directory it's called a delete event right there's a one more which is called overflow so overflow in the sense for example if we have lost or discarded any event it's called overflow so we'll talk about all four in this video guys if you are only worried about the incoming file then you can go and simply make use of the create event you can ignore rest of the events okay and another important thing to know here is it's called watch key it's another interface but it provides very important function that we can use to know more about the files for example file path the location i can get the file name or the last modification timestamp as well okay so basically this provides very important handy function that we can use to get more about the files short time so for let's go and first define the directory path that we want to monitor okay so i'll just give it private static final string and let's call it variable name can be anything directory path equals okay so the directory that we want to monitor right so what i will do i'll just go here let me just go to my desktop and i'll just create a new directory here new folder let me call it incoming right and i'll just copy the path from here go back to the id and paste the path here okay so basically i want to monitor this incoming directory for the files okay now next thing is that we have to initialize the watch service we have to initialize the watch service how can we do that right so guys there's a interface called watch service in java and if i import right it says watch service is in java.neo.file package like import and let's call it watch service equals to how can we get the instance right so we'll be using file systems that you can find it here inside the java.neo.file package systems dot go for get default and then one more dot and then you try for new watch service okay so this is how can you get the instance of the watch service let me see what exactly it says that okay you can have some exception so i'll just add the try catch here now guys let's define this trick that we want to monitor this directory right so we have to have the path variable path object so path equals to i'll say path dot gate and here i can pass the directory path basically i want to monitor this particular directory let's go and import this path as well this is also uh, from java dot new dot file package all good so far now guys next thing is that we have to register our watch service register watch service for what for these events for create modify delete and overflow events right so we have to register our watch service for the events how can we do that right so for that we'll be using this path dot it has a function called register where if you can see here 
we have to provide the instance of the watch service and the events that we want to monitor okay so let's go okay watch service and here how to pass those events so for that we'll be using the standard watch event watch event kinds dot entry underscore create so this is the event which is responsible for notify that okay we have got a new file right now guys if you are just worried about the only incoming files this event is good enough but in case if you want to add more like if you have to worry about uh, the modification and the delete as well we can simply go and add these events as well that i will show you or like let me just go and add one more say for example i want to watch events dot say entry modify and delete as well watch key events dot entry underscore delete right so basically what we did here is that we have registered our watch service to monitor for these events here if you see this will return instance of watch key type right so let's go and do that watch key watch key equals to let's go and import again this watch key interfaces from java.ne.file package good now guys because we want to monitor for those incoming files in real time we want to do that continuously right? so what i will do i will add a while loop and i make it true here now here how to get the information right how to look for the event so what i will do here for that we'll be using watch event say question mark because for all type of the events colon watch key dot guys this watch key as i mentioned earlier right this is interface it provides like hell out of handy function that we should know right so here i will be using all events which will give me the list of all the events that is happening onto that directory okay sorry uh, event now i can use this particular event and get the information about the the files and everything right let me do one thing i'll just do this out here this is out and say i want to know the event type or event kind like what kind of event was there or happened to the directory right so what i will do i will use event dot there is a function called kind okay and say for example i also want to can you help me with the name as well like so for example affected and then there is a function called event dot context if you see this one here so let me just run this program run as java application and okay i'll just add here one more swiss out just to make sure that everything so watch service started okay and let me just stop for a second and then i will just restart so that i can see the sys out on the screen okay watch service started now what i will do i'll go to the directory here incoming so guys let me just show you here in bottom here you will see some sys outs what i'm going to do is as of now i'm just going to copy one pdf file into this incoming directory copy okay now here you can see event created and here is the the file name okay now guys just in case if i go and put one more say for example let me add this one png file okay so this terra copy you can ignore because i'm using a, another tool on my system if you simple copy and paste you will only see that there was a create event happened on this directory and here is the file name okay so file affected or basically let's call it file name okay stop and let me just restart java application now guys what i want to do before that okay let's go and add some more sysouts here so that we can get some more information about the file right so what i will do that i want to know everything say like the file path file name or the timestamp right everything i want to know right so for that we'll do one more thing here right path dot there is a function called resolve that we'll use right and i will use here event dot context colon now it says that it is not of the type same so i'll just use typecasting path okay to hold this one i will be using if you see this resolve right it returns number an instance of the path type right so that will do here path or say let's call it file equals to this one now i will be using this file object to get the information right so for example say i want to read can you give me the path as well like the location say location right i just want to read just for the so i can simply use file dot to file dot and then get absolute path okay next i want to read the file name as well can you help me with the file name please so for that equals to i'll use file dot to 
file there is a function called get name it's here okay and say i want to know about the timestamp as well like timestamp when exactly it happened so for that what i will do i'll use file dot to file again dot provides a function called last modified okay so for now i'll just stop our program we'll restart so that we can also see these new results as well run as java application so guys let's we have seen the entry and modification let's go and talk about the delete i want to delete this file from here i have deleted now what do you see here event type entry underscore delete file name was this one and then this is the absolute part of that pdf file file name was this and timestamp was zero so this time so guys this timestamp is when you go and modify existing files this is we have used last modifier right so that will give the modification timestamp okay so the things that you have to keep in mind is that first of all we have to go and create the instance of a watch service and then you have to specify the directory that you want to monitor for the incoming files once you have those things ready what you do is you have to register your service for specific events for example if you are just worried about the entry like file creation okay just go for uh, entry underscore create event okay once you have that you will be using this watch key interface right which provides like a lot of handy functions that you can use to get more information about uh, the files right so basically poll events this will give you a list of all the events that is happening to the directory that we have seen so i'll give you i'll run this application this uh, code one more time so that we can just see this entry underscore create one more time what i will do i'll go here and say let me copy this one copied okay so here you can see event type was entry underscore create file name was this is banner okay java underscore banner dot jpg this is the absolute path again file name and the timestamp cool all right guys here we are done with this video just in case if you have any questions let me know in the comment section thank you for watching